let's hit the comma key to go into our light box here. Go into projects, demo projects. We're going to do the demo tree frog. And we've already talked about thick skin, so that's not really what I'm going to focus on in this particular video, but definitely feel free to check that out. Let's talk about smoothing. So if I hold down shift and I smooth this object out, you're going to see um, it really kind of disregards the volumes of my mesh. It just averages those vertices and really wipes out those forms, which is fine for a lot of situations. However, if you hold down shift and start smoothing and let go of shift, you're going to see it maintains my volumes and my forms a lot better. It's still smoothing the surface, but it's not like making this arm skinnier or getting rid of this ridge right here. Now there's a lot of really cool things you can do with smoothing. In fact, if you go into comma key, go into brush and go into the smooth menu, there's like smooth perpendicular, smooth stronger, smooth crease, a lot of really cool things in here. But basically what this is going to be about is holding down shift to smooth. And you can see I can get rid of this ridge entirely. And full disclosure, if I hold down shift and now you have my smooth brush here, if I go to my smooth brush modifiers, my default is weighted smooth mode of one. I have smooth stronger already set up in my smooth. So if you're doing this and you're like, oh, I can't get rid of the ridge because it's not working that well, um, go into your brush menu, go to the very, hold down shift. So you make sure you're in the smooth brush, go to the very bottom here, smooth brush modifiers, set that weighted smooth mode to one, that's stronger. And then you'll really get that effect. If you don't like that as much, you can hold down shift and then drop that Z intensity down and that'll uh, smooth a little bit more normally. But to demonstrate this, smooth stronger, hold down shift. And again, it's just gonna obliterate your forms or your volumes. If I hold down shift, start smoothing and let go of shift, it's gonna do an alternate smoothing method that smooths my surface, but keeps my volumes. Now, if you go into your brush menu, B and then S, narrow down to your smooth brushes, you're gonna see there's your smooth brush and also a smooth alt brush. If you tap that one, it's gonna say, okay, I'm gonna use smooth alt from now on. So I skip this note until next start. So now when I hold down shift with smooth alt as my smooth brush now, hold down shift, go in here and smooth, you're gonna see this one is gonna retain my volumes. And then if I hold down shift and let go of shift while I'm smoothing, this wasn't gonna do my regular smooth. Now, granted, if I do smooth alt, you're gonna see weighted smooth mode is set to zero again. I'm gonna Set that to one so it's a little bit stronger of effect, just so I can show you a little bit better. So again, smooth alt retains my volumes. And that's just again, holding down shift and smoothing and then hold down shift, let go of shift. And now it's gonna do the volume obliterating smooth. So if you just wanna hold down shift and then just start smoothing and retain your volumes, use shift smooth alt as opposed to regular smooth. Now retaining volumes, I'm just going to show you this really quickly. It doesn't really have much to do with smooth, but just as a way to visualize this. If I go in here, grab a sphere 3D, drag it on my canvas here, go into edit mode, make poly mesh 3D. Go in here to control shift, hold on control shift and go in here and select slice, slice curve. So we're going to go through here. I'm going to just slice uh, through here and I'm going to tap alt twice so I can get kind of a, a jagged cut through here. I'm going to go down here to edge loop, panel loops. Let's go ahead and crank that thickness up quite a bit and hit panel loops here. So now I'm also going to switch this over to skin shader four. So I'm going to go down here to deformation and you're going to see, I have a couple options. One of them is polished by features and it has this little dot at the end and that's closed circle. And if you tap that dot, it goes to open circle. So now with closed circle, I can go help polish by features and a feature is basically a crease or a polygroup border. And you can see uh, this has a polygroup border between the pink and the blue and the dark purple and the light purple. So if I go in here to polish by features close circle and I crank that to the right, you're gonna see, and I'll, I'll just exaggerate this. So if I, if I kind of make these lines wiggly, I can go through here and polish by features close circle and I can straighten out those lines, but I'm still retaining the overall volume of my sphere. That isn't really changing. So you can think of closed circle as like volume preservation, just like the alt smooth. Now, if I go in here to polish by features, open circle and run this, it is going to keep, no, and we'll do this again. So we're gonna wiggle these lines up because I want these to be smooth because that's our polygroup border. So I want to smooth those out. But if I do polish by features, open circles, you're gonna see the volume of my sphere is gonna start being drastically changed. This is a, super smooth. This is a super polish basically. Um, and that's useful. Sometimes that is useful. So this is like the regular smooth, just kind of obliterating your volumes. 
So kind of the same thing between closed circle and open, open circle and some of these options you'll see um, is kind of the same with smooth and alt smooth.